Okay, in life, you don't get what you want, you get what you negotiate. So maybe you are in business or maybe you are in sales or even day-to-day -day life. How do you negotiate so that you could get what you want? Today, I'm gonna to give you three tips and kind of like three secrets when it comes to negotiation. I could probably do a whole series on, on this. Uh, if you want to know more, if you say, hey, Dan, please, I would love to learn more about negotiation, comment below. If there are enough of my fans who comment below and they want to learn more, they want me to, to make more videos on this particular topic, I'm more than happy to do that. So, negotiation secret number one, and that is start with no. Start with no. Instead of going into a scenario, going to a negotiation that, oh, I gotta close this deal, I have to get this deal, the minute you are not attached, the minute you start with no, it's almost like I expect this is gonna go well, but at the same time, I'm not attached. I call that walk away power. The minute you say, you know what? It would be nice if we do this deal, but I'm perfectly okay if we don't do the deal. So the minute you are okay to walk away from the deal, then your the, the other party, the person that you are negotiating with, can feel that, hey, you're not needy, you're not, desperate you're here to work out a win-win deal and that's that's very very good so start with the no in your mind first so you're not attached so that's secret number one secret number two and that is always find the hidden motive in other words what motivates this person what motivates this party not what they say not what they say hey this is what i want i want these things but deeper What's the motive behind it, right? What's the motive behind the motive? They might say they want this, they want that, but what is it? Is it, they might say, oh, I want this price. Anything less than that, I'm not gonna say yes to. Well, is it price or is it something else? Could it be that if they don't do this deal, there's, there's some kind of deadline, there's, there's urgency that you may not be aware of. So if you take a little bit of time and do your research or you ask, if you know how to ask good questions, or you just find out maybe from the people around them what motivates this person. What are the hot buttons? Once you find that, when you're going in and you are not attached, but at the same time, you've done your homework. Negotiation very often is about doing your homework, right? Whoever does the most amount of homework about the other person, you will have an edge. That's secret number two. Secret number three, and that is ask, for the moon, ask for the moon. So imagine you are negotiating about a particular deal. So when you just ask and say, hey, I want this. Well, no, I'm not gonna give you that. Well, I want this, well, I'm not gonna give you that. Now you are fighting over this one thing, right? It either becomes a yes or no kind of scenario. Instead, when you are asking, something ask for the moon meaning this let's say there are 10 things let's say, let's say there are three things that you want out of this scenario right out of this negotiation don't ask for three ask for five or ten so when you're negotiating you say okay i want one two three four five six seven eight i want these ten things the other party would be like would they would freak they were like no that's the, that's crazy i'm not gonna give you like these ten things you're insane there's no way there's no deal to be made here right and you're like, well, hmm. So what could you do? Well, I'm not gonna give you 10 things. You know, the most I could give you is like four things or five things or three things. Good, because those are actually the three things that you want in the beginning. So when you ask for the moon, you give them a little bit of leeway to negotiate, to kind of hackle, right? To knowing, hey, you're not gonna get it all, but if you get half of it, you get one third of it, you're happy and that's what you want in the beginning anyway that's the outcome that you want right so ask for the moon but when you do it you gotta you gotta practice right you, you gotta practice almost with a a strict face right you gotta practice when negotiating it's very very professional 
right? But I also believe that you're not asking a lot because like you're greedy or anything like that. It is, hey, you want to get the best deal, right? Everybody wants to get the best deal. At the same time, once you've, you've done your research, you've done your homework, you know what the motives, what, what are hidden motives that they have, then you can make it a win-win. Because here's what I, what I did early on in, in business that I think was wrong. That I was always trying to make it almost like I always win and other people lose. And you might be able to do that if you have enough power. And, but the problem is people don't come back. They don't want to do business with you again. So then you might think you win short term, but long term you actually don't get any repeat business. You definitely don't get referrals. Uh, you don't, you don't, you don't, you won't have a very good reputation. So in the beginning of my business career, I was a very uh, hard, like tough negotiator. And now I'm actually much softer. I'm much more easygoing because I think now coming from a place of abundance, say, hey, you know what? I don't, I don't need to grab all the chips on the table. I don't need to win all the time. I could make it a win-win. Uh, in fact, I would not do a deal nowadays if it's not a win-win. That if I win, I want you to win, I want everybody to win. Because this way, then you feel good. When you feel good about the deal, you're more likely to do another deal, and then another deal, and then another deal, and another deal, right? So then you're more likely to do that. So I would say those three secrets, but combine that, always strive for win-win, right? So if you want to know more, about negotiation you find this helpful make sure you comment below and hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification every single day i upload a video for you on success on money on wealth creation and on entrepreneurship as well so make sure you do that until next time i'll see you in my belly